Hey developers, before we start this video, I just want to let you guys know this is from my course, Create Awesome Vue.js Apps with Nux.js. If you guys are interested in it, I have a link below where you can sign up on my waiting list. I'll be releasing this course soon, probably in the next month. So click on that link below and you'll get on my mailing list. And by the way, if you do that, I'll give you a free Vue.js cheat sheet, which you guys can use to learn Vue.js and it has all the information you need. So enjoy this video. It's from my course. Take care. All right, let's take a look at mixins. So mixins are a way that we can add more functionality to our view instances and view components. So we can share mixins between multiple components and multiple places. So that way, if we have some piece of code that we want to pull out in some utility class, for example, there might be a way we can pull it into a mixin and then that mixin can be added to our view instance. So for example, if we created a special type of computed property and we wanted to share that between multiple components or multiple view instances, and then you can import, you can create that mixin and then import it into your view. So it's just a way you can share data. So it's really simple to use. So I went ahead and created a sample app uh, once again, I have my root view instance here. You can see here, I just have this H1 tag. I have this new view, uh, the root view instance here. So let's say I wanted to share a data object between multiple versions of my app. So what I could do here is I can create const and I'll call it a mixin. Well, I can, let's call it my mixin to not be confused with anything. Create it as an object. And then we just put in the same kind of elements we would see um, just as if we were using, uh, just as if this was a view component or a global component or a local component. So we're gonna have this data object and we're gonna return here an object. So I'm gonna call this some info. This is from the mixin and I'll save it here. And then inside my view instance, I have to declare it here. So I just type in mixins. It's an array. And then the name of my mixin, my mixin. And I'll put a comma here so I don't have any problems. So if I save it, I don't get any errors. So that's good. So now it, what it did is it's combining, it merges this two data object. And that's one thing to keep in mind that if you're using a mixin, you can add more information to your data object, computer property, and it'll merge the two together. Now, obviously, um, you don't want to put the same name, but well, let's let's take a look what happens when that happens. So let's do an h2 tag, and then we'll put in some info. So if I save it, this is from the mixin. So you can see here that it went ahead and added this some info from our data object. It combined it with the data object here, so it's it says this is from this mixin. But what happens if we try to overwrite the message? So I'm gonna overwrite the message. I'm gonna get rid of some info. I'm gonna save it. You can see it just doesn't appear anything. So uh, just keep in mind, don't use the same names in both places. So you'll have uh, behavior like this where it just won't show up. But if you wanted to add in extra behavior like extra data pro objects, or I can even put in computed properties in here. I can put in my own methods. So let's see if I put methods. And then I put in press me. And let's just change this back to some info. And then in my press me, I'm just gonna do alert box, hello. And then here, we'll use our classic example. We'll put a click. And now we have this press me and we'll save it. <coughs> of course, we have to have a name here, press me. You see here the, the alert box works as we expect it because it's mixing this in to our instance here. So, and just keep in mind, this makes its own copy for every instance. So it's not sharing this information between multiple instances. So keep that in mind. Uh, one other thing we can do is if we can actually make global components or excuse me, global mixins, which you gotta be really careful here because this will be added to every single instance in your application. And when we get into 
Uh, view CLI and single file components, this is really important. You don't wanna accidentally overwrite some third party library um, accidentally because you're creating a bunch of global mixins. So to create a global mixin, you just do view dot mixin and you make it uh, like an object in here and you could do the same thing. So let's say we wanted to do something with a created hook. Console.log, this is from a global mixin. Save it, we refresh, and you can see down here, this is from a global mixin. So it obviously worked. Um, so we, we wanna be really careful when you use global mixins. So that's just how you use mixins. It's a good way to kind of share information between of view components.